Hello, in this video we're going to cover splash screens in Kotlin. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and create an empty activity, just an empty program. There's others but we're going to use this one. We're going to rename it splash screen sample and from there we're just going to let Gradle build the project up. A few minutes it takes and there we go. So we have our main activity, our resources, drawable and layout, the two important ones for this one. I'm just going to go in, get the text view Make sure it's not using a string, because don't need it to be translating now, and just change it to anything we want. In this case, splash screen sample. So that we know when we're looking at the main activity. Then we can go ahead, add, right, add new activity. We'll call it splash activity. And from there, it will generate the XML and the Kotlin file. We're going to have to be editing both. So let's drag our image over. I just picked my avatar so we can see it as we're putting the constraints in. Constraint to each side so it's in the centre of the screen. I'll go ahead, go back and go and look at the XML from there. Go to the resource viewer, import a new image into the resource manager and that means we can access it from inside the project. There it's there, it's in drawable now. And from there we can do away with that avatar. Do Android source drawable w in the name of the file without the extension. There we go. Our splash screen it's kind of ready. It's not very good, but it's there. From there, we need to update the manifest. So we've got our activity, the splash activity. See, it's, we will export it. We'll fix it so it's correct XML so we can add things to it. And we're just going to take the intent filter over so that it actually loads the splash activity instead of the main activity. From there, we need to add a couple of imports. So we're going to hand, import handler and intent. This allows us to handle the splash screen, have a countdown in three seconds and load the main activity next. So handler.post delayed. This is depreciated but there is no alternative right now that actually works easily. So create a variable called intent and then pass in the splash activity and the one we want to go with, main activity. Tell it to start it and we'll finish the current activity, splash activity. And we'll do that after 3000 milliseconds or 3 seconds. With that, we can go ahead and run it. And there we go, we have our splash activity. 